When you think of a rat, you probably think of a furry creature. But did you know that rats can also be hairless? Hairless rats are quite rare, which is why most people have never seen them. As a result, many people do not know very much about them. To give you some more information about these interesting animals, we've compiled a list of 7 facts about hairless rats. Fact number 1, hairless rats are the result of a genetic mutation. Despite the fact that they look very different, hairless rats are the same species as normal pet rats, which are fancy rats. The only difference between them is that hairless rats have a genetic mutation in their DNA that causes them to lose their hair. Fact number 2, hairless rats are not born hairless. It's easy to assume that these interesting rodents are born hairless. After all, the babies of many mammals are born without hair and only grow hair later in their life. However, for hairless rats, the opposite is the case. When they are born, they do have some hair. According to the Laboratory of Animal Sciences, it's not until they're three to five weeks old that the rats start losing their hair. Fact number three, hairless rats typically have a shorter lifespan. Due to the fact that hairless rats do not have a furry coat to protect them, they typically have a shorter lifespan. They're more vulnerable to sunburn and cold temperatures. In addition, hairless rats typically have a weaker immune system than their furry counterparts. Fact number four, there are two types of hairless rats. There are two different types of hairless rats, the true hairless rat and the double rex rat. Double rex rats are often not completely bald but do have bald spots. There is also the patchwork variant of the double rex. These rats lose and regrow hair on different patches of their body throughout their life. The truly hairless rat has no hair anywhere on its body. In addition, they do not have whiskers, something that double rexes do have. This is the rat that people usually talk about when they refer to hairless rats. An interesting fact about these rats is that even though they have no hair, they can still have markings. You can see these markings by the different levels of pigmentation on their skin. Fact number 5, hairless rats can have red eyes. Albinism and hairlessness are both genetic mutations in fancy rats, and they are not mutually exclusive, which means that a rat can be both hairless and albino. Albinism results in white hair and red eyes. However, while albino hairless rats do not have white hair, due to the fact that they do not have hair in the first place, they can have red eyes. However, it's a common misconception that all bald rats have red eyes. Only the ones that are albino and hairless have both of these traits. Fact number six, hairless rats are highly affectionate, intelligent, and social. Hairless rats are social animals. In the wild, they live in groups called mischiefs. In captivity, they retain these social characteristics and get along very well with humans and other rats. Because they are so social, you must always make sure that if you decide to adopt rats that you always do so in pairs. Rats do not like to live alone and can get very lonely, which can result in depression. It is not necessary to adopt two bald rats, they get along with regular, hairy rats just fine. Sometimes they even prefer having furry cage mates because they're warmer to cuddle up against. Fact number 7, caring for hairless rats is very similar to caring for regular pet rats. Hairless rats and regular rats have very similar care requirements. They both eat the same food and have the same cage requirements. However, there are a few important differences. First of all, hairless rats need to be kept out of the sun. The reason for this is that hairless rats do not have a furry coat to protect them from the sun's rays. Secondly, you might have to keep their enclosure at a higher temperature than that of regular rats because they're more prone to getting cold. Hairless rats are very interesting animals that deserve more attention. Hopefully, this quick overview of these cute rodents has taught you something new about them. If you want to learn more about pets and animals, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos very frequently in which we discuss all kinds of pets and animals, along with tips and trips that teach you how to care for them. A like on the video would also be highly appreciated. Thanks.